Hello and good morning guys, I'm Richie. If you're new to the channel, we are currently doing the Mei Hon Song Loop in Northern Thailand. Right now I'm at Pang, Pang Un. Hope I'm getting that right, I've been corrected enough times for it. It's a little tribal village, just up near the Burmese border. And this is what the entrance to the village. It's a Patong Royal Project Development Centre. It's a very sleepy village, surrounded by a lot of other tribal, very sleepy villages. That means on a night, it's a nightmare getting something to eat. Anytime after five o'clock, everywhere is shut. So when I'm going out doing the vlogs on a daytime, you get back. Oh, first night I was just eating crisps. What can you do? If you joined us on yesterday's vlog, we were at Banrak Thai, where we had a traditional Yunnan dish. Yunnan's the uh, descendant from China. Got settled in uh, Northern Thailand. <coughs> we had a great uh, tea salad, tea leaf salad. It was very nice. Right, let's take a little walk through the village, see what's going on. Get some funny looks. Now it is a little bit like the hills of eyes. Everyone's uh, stuck behind the, the gates and you can see people watching, but when you look at them, the duck out the way, and uh, the English is not spoken at all really. But that's not my fault. I'm in their country, I'm a visitor. So here, let's have a little walk through the village. Beautiful settings, absolutely amazing. All of Northern Thailand I've been around, it's been outstanding. The Mahon Song Loop, been on it. The more I do it, the more I know it's a bucket list thing. So what do you got? There's some of the villagers there. Say hello YouTube. <laughs> But yeah, it's absolutely amazing, the Mahon Song Loop. Knocked me off my stride a bit there. I'm sure in the summer, it's rainy season, it's off season at the minute, and uh, there's a lot of construction going on, like the same as Banrak Thai yesterday, one big construction site, all getting ready for tourism in the summer. So there's a few restaurants up here, but they've never, they, I've never seen them open, not one. There's one shop, a little shop. Uh, there's a coffee shop here. It looks open now, I'm saying it, but it's, it's never been open since I've been here. What's a coffee shop? You want a coffee? You're alright, you can't get something to eat. Yeah, a very sleepy village, I've been getting plenty of work done anyway. That's been the bright side of it. There's not a lot to do around here, there's Banrak Thai for a little bit further up north. Uh, other than that, there's the what I was saying was a lake before, it's actually a reservoir. Just at the end of the village, that's beautiful, get some nice mist across in the morning. I've got a couple of vlogs on that, if you want to look back at my earlier ones. I've been here for two nights, three days, and it's been really nice, really relaxing. Apart from the food situation, everything else has been great. A really lovely family uh, who own the homestay that I'm staying in. I think there's a lot of homestays kicking about round here. The one I'm staying in, it's a bit like the house that Jack built. You know, a master, uh, I'm a, a jack of all trades, but a master at nothing. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean when we go in. This is it here. I've already done an apartment tour and the place, but uh, this is just a little recap. There you go, the Lung Soy Nugan. I can't recommend this place enough. £15 a night with a free breakfast, which was uh, a bit dicey. But the meanwhile, uh, they don't know what Westerners eat. It's not processed sausage. Um, and today, we're off to Mehon Song. And we will be stopping off at some fish caves, uh, get feed, feed some fish. And maybe it's a waterfall, I'm not too sure if it's open. There's Betty all on the ready. She's raring to go. That's where the family lives up the top there. You can just see the kids, lovely family. Little fish ponds outside all the, uh, outside all the, outside all the little huts. 
Like I said, I did a vlog on this the other day, so I won't go too much into it. But I'll just show you a little bit of uh show you a little bit of what Jack's been up to. When we get to the door, push up, not down. All my stuff's a bit all over here. Got the lights on. And then on the inside, the door's going the wrong way around. <laughs> Uh, just little things. There's a, a leak somewhere in the middle of the roof. Uh, what was I looking at before? Yeah, there's a kettle, but just glasses. Uh, there's a few things, to be honest with you, I, I thought of them before, but I can't think right now. But yeah, he's, the, he's a lovely guy. Absolutely lovely guy. He means well. He's been talking to me, trying to talk to me. And it would prove my tie. Right, we will get on the road to Mahon Song. I've got my uh, chest mount on, so if there's any good sights that I come across when we're on, when we're on, the road, on the road, I'll speak to you then. Bye bye, Panum! Mahon Song, here we come. this all the time. Wow. <laughs> all the mist across the top of the mountains. See what I was talking about yesterday's vlog. All these people living in the little shacks. How lucky they are. Having this for a view. Whoever's making these danger signs is making a fortune. They're everywhere. Are you coming down the hill into this turn? Wow. And there you've got a concrete pillar at that side. You're not going to put a dent in that. We are now at the Passua waterfall. Is it Passua? You tell me. 28.3 degrees, still quite early in the morning. It's going to be a scorcher. Alright, we walk over. There's Betty parked over there. It's a little tourist, inf a tourist information place. And it's a national park entrance fee. It's a hundred baht. I tried to tell her I was a a monk, Thai monk. Never worked. <laughs> uh, it's a hundred baht, but then you get into the uh, the fish caves free as well. They can go in and feed the fish and things like that. Yeah, we're we'll going to have a look at the waterfall. Oh, see, already. I thought it was going to be a bit of a walk. In a few steps. Just when you got all this crap on your back. Well, I'm quite looking forward to getting the Mayhunt song. There's a, a night market there. There's a viewpoint, there's a couple of different little things here and there. I think we maybe just stay there for one night. 
and then go down to probably Mesa Ray, but I'm not too sure yet. There's somewhere in between, we'll just get there and get the Mahon song and see what the drive is. And then no rush. I want to try and see as much as possible on the way. And then from Mesa Ray, something like that, we're going to go up into uh, Doi Inchinon, one of the highest mountains in Thailand. We'll maybe stay the night somewhere up there. But it's all subject to change, we will see. I'm in no rush to get round the Hon Song Loop. That's the last thing you want to do is rushing about. As long as I can get back to uh, Chiang Mai to uh, extend my visa. And then we'll head up towards Chiang Rai and the Golden Triangle. Three metres deep, there's no swimming. Apparently the currents are very strong so you can't swim. Not that I can swim anywhere. Danger, danger. The Pasui pa waterfall. It doesn't look like that. I don't think we've been getting an awful lot of rain the last few days. I haven't seen any anyway. So yeah, it might be a little bit uh, a little bit of needed some water. It's all right. I'll be honest. I wouldn't want to swim anywhere. It's very murky. There's another waterfall. I'm sure that I've seen that looks better than this. I think it's about a 50 foot drop one. That's definitely not 50 foot. Now he's told me to exit this way. Seems to be going in the wrong direction. Oh, it comes round. Just drove past this on the way to the fish cave. Looks something a little bit different. I've got no idea what it is. I know that's, that one there's a chapel. Ah, uh, because it says on the side. I've got no idea. If I've got any tire viewers, please hit me up on the comments. Let me know. Unfortunate casualty. Nothing to do with me. Yeah, any Thai viewers, please let us know what this place is. It's right next to the fish cave. Quite fancy. Might tell us on this little sign over here. I think that's the Queen. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. Pang on, that's where we've just been staying. Banrak Tower was where we were at yesterday. Doesn't actually say where we are right now. I can go in. Sound like Sean King. I'm going in. Some big butters at the back. Didn't say nothing about taking the shoes off. Can you see? It's a bit dark in it. The other butters at the bottom there. It's a nice big wooden hall. Like looking at me, um, I 
Oh, very pretty place. Yeah, I'm getting out. I can hear a radio or something. We'll go and have a look at this uh, little temple over here and this other wooden building. See what's going on in there. We which way are you going? <laughs> Well, there's a little stage there behind Betty. Old Betty Blue. I'm gonna have to go past the mechanic at some point, just make sure it's got a. Uh, it's all running well. I don't want to pack it up on me, it is running class like. Really good bikes, these Aeroxes. Turn it off, Richie. Now, the gate at the front was closed. So we'll have a walk around. We can't be deterred by one closed gate. There it says uh, chapel. That's oh, locked. Now, I'm not doing it proper Sean King style and climbing over. If you haven't watched his channel vlogging a dead horse. Good, funny man. That's not locked. If you're climbing over, it's alright, isn't it? Keep the dogs out, that's what that's for, not me. I could have got in there anyway. That's open. Can you see that properly? It's one right in my eye, I can't see. And so there's that. I think we're going to have a theme going on here. Saturday, next to Thursday. Hang on. Oh, very smart. I can't see a thing when I'm pointing that camera up. Sun's right in my eye. It's getting hot now. Wednesday. Hello, Wednesday. Tuesday, that's more like it. I like a bit of a rhythm. What's going on down here? Nice well kept grounds. There's no dunny. Could do with a Johnny Cash. Munda. He's up Munda. Little gold butter up the top there. And Sunda. Didn't we have Sunda on the other side or was that Saturday? Should have been next to Saturday. See Friday. OCD does no good. Have it, have it in rhythm, man. Wednesday, what, Wednesday, what are you doing here? You should be down there. Thursday, then Saturday, and he. What do you got to do? What do you got to do? Right, let's go up in this place here. Ah, oh, close. Lovely nice car, wooden doors. Behave them. That's locked as well. That's not just close for the dogs. It's all really nice, carved out. Smart. I like a bit of wood carving. You know there's time and effort going into that. 
Uh, some elephants. It's tiring some morning, everyone's worshipping them or something. Help us out, guys. Tell me what's going on. Give me a story. I've seen them do before. I wasn't sure if she was going against the will or not. She doesn't look too happy. He looks happier than her. Old man. There's more of a story to that. Oh, I think this is where like the sins. If you sin. And then this is what happens to you. See him in this tree. And him there with the bow and arrow saying, get out the tree. Oh, I'm going to shoot you out. Always oh, a story to be told with these wood carbons. What's this? What's this business? I think that's where they put the candles inside and people light the candles and that. Whoop. That one's a bit like Pisa. Replicating Pisa there, yeah, the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Copycat. What a fan. It's getting hot. Here we go, some more right near. Some more carbons. Some lion, dog. I think it's a dog or a fat cat. Don't know what's going on there. I haven't got time to be working all this out. There's the tiger, rabbit. Well, that might be a seasonal thing. There you go, I don't know where we are, but it's a chapel. It was interesting, I enjoyed it. Hope you did. On to the fish cave. We're still at the chapel. I didn't see these two bad boys outside, these serpenty things. I closed that gate, all the bells started going off. I'm expecting people to start jumping out the bushes. They're not daft. That's not a lamb bell. Intruder. YouTube intruder. Nice building. Nice surroundings as well. Nice, nice, nice. Everything's nice. Let's get to the fish cave. Hey, voila. We're here. The Templar Namtok Kutsia National Park. Department of National Parks, Wildlife and Plant Conversation. Conversation? Conservation. A few little restaurants on the way in. Of course there is. Thailand after all. You over there. It's all food though, no tat, thankfully. What's she got over here? Bottles of honey. Very honey, very popular, very, very honey. Very popular honey up here. It'd be nice if I was, if I was in a car or a bigger bike, if I had more storage, I'd get some. I love me honey. So what do you call? Is that honey? Huh? Honey? Oh, honey. Oh, bees. Bzzz. Yeah, yeah. No idea. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. Yeah. Honey, honey, oil. Honey and oil. Ah, oh. oh, good, good. I'm it. No, my bag's too big. No space. Sorry. How come back up? Thank you too. Swaddy cap. You yeah. said he's got nuts. Garlic. Yeah, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah very good. Oil. Yeah. Honey. Yeah, yeah. And a little garlic cloves. Yeah. Fucking my cup. Ah. <laughs> 
Coco Mine Cat, thank you very much. You feel guilty not buying anything, but you can't carry it. You can't carry it, you can't buy it. The bike's absolutely rampacked. You can see I've got things hanging off me all over. What? My big bag, my brolly. Here's a toilet here. You know they're going to charge me to get in here. Excuse me a second. Oh, they've got all the tap in the way. In. <laughs> you pay to get in the fish pond, the fish bloody whatever it is. And they'll charge you to go to the toilet. There you are. Always a bit of tap. I've been sewn away there. Maybe you can make it yourself. Happy days. Right, excuse me. Well, I paid to go to the toilet. That was much needed. That's one thing I don't agree with when you're in a bar or a national park, or something like that. Something where you're paying, you're giving them money. You, they're providing the service, you pay for the service. A toilet should be free. You already paid. I mean, it's only, you're only talking five baht. You know, it's 12 and a half pay, about 15 cents, but it's the principle. It's always the principle. So what do you cap? How much? 20 baht? 20 baht, eh? 20 baht to give the feed, a fish a feed. One cap. One, two. One, please. One, two. See, now the bag's on my back. He thinks I'm shooting one. That's 34 degrees down here. 33, 34. Killer. Fuck with mine, cap. Thank you. The fish will be grateful. Oh, 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 oh. Disappointed where I picked up one there. Yeah, you still working for now? Screen and point. Milk and that, any? Sweaty cap. Cock and cap. Yeah, he's milking the old uh, screen and point there. No, I'm alright. Can I go in? That way? That way, yeah. In fact, you're telling me to sit down there. Yeah. It's only one thing I won't have anything to do with now, Covid. Definitely milking it. Milked it from the beginning, to be honest. But hey, I'm not talking about that. No conversation about that. Fish cave, camping area, toilet, common room, office and learning centre. There's a visitor centre. You know what that is? Office. I'm not bothered about the office. There's another toilet over there. You don't have to pay for that one. <laughs> that sod's law, isn't it? Ah, shoot me now. Twelve and a half p. There's the control smart patrol operation room. That'd be like your park ranger. Little coffee shop. Oh no, that's gonna be a day doing a national park. I haven't showed me my food, my fish food. You got the greens in there as well, not just the pellets. You gotta get the greens. Where's the fish curve? Is it that way? That's the designated smoking area. We'll go this way. And the toilet. Everywhere now. As soon as you get past the paid one. And you find a million for free. Well done National Park. I take back what I said.
Monte Grande up there. You don't want anything falling down. Not today anyway. There's the map in there, Hunsong Province. Where have we been? Uh, I don't know. There's Pai, went to Pai. We drove around there. Well, we come from, obviously, come from Chiang Mai. Up, on the pie, and around here, can't see Punwe. Then we went up there to Banrak Thai, and we come down, and today we're going down here to Mei Hon Song, around here somewhere, there. And then tomorrow, we're either going to stay at Kun Yam. Or drive straight down to Mesirang district. We will see. Oh, I've got to get out of this sun. It's scorching. With all this crap on my back. Sticky leg syndrome. Sweaty bollocks. And a little bridge. I'm always dubious about tie bridges seen them building. Why'd you feed the fish? I want to get this bloody thing off me. <laughs> God I can mourn. See this is what the fort was like down near the waterfall. Very uh, very misty. It's like when you go on a swim pool and you see all the chlorine you put too much in. Obviously this can't be chlorine. Oh the fish will be dead. Fish cave. No, it's that way and that way. <laughs> that way is uphill. That way is straight along. I'll go down here because there's a tie house as well and this looks flat. Oh, I've got to go and see that side over there, haven't I? I've paid two pounds fifty about three and a half dollars to get in here. I want to make the most of it. Well here and that crap waterfall went over before. Sorry, this is no no crap this channel. If it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. Station one. Trail is 435 metres long with an elevation of 260 metres above sea level. It takes about 30 minutes or more to experience nature more fully. Proper footwear is recommended for a steep slope and slippery terrain with sections of sharp rock. The elderly should use special caution and young children need special attention. The route crosses through limestone mountain and mixed deciduous forest. Deciduous? I like it. The route crosses through limestone mountain and mixed ah, the milk in the air. Mixed deciduous forest. Or oh, did I read that oh, yeah, I've read that twice? <laughs> Dominant tree species. The teak, rosewood and bamboo. Limestone mixed. Oh, they have got it in again. Deciduous forest. Dominant tree species. Oh, yeah, you're just repeating yourself. Teak, rosewood and bamboo, limestone. Yeah, half an hour. May as well take the bull by the horns. Can't be finishing on a hill, can you? I think I'm glad that one's closed. Yeah, that's a nature trail. Right, half an hour. I won't keep you on for the full half an hour. Although you might miss a few deciduous trees in the mixed deciduous forest. Right, I'll find something interesting. And get you back on. We are at the fish cave. What fish have we got yet? 
blue and anatomy fish. I haven't got my glasses on. Hang on, let me get my specs on. Blue antimony fish, red tin foil barb, tin foil barb. <laughs> Who made that up? Uh, pallet fish food, insects, fruits, vegetables. Uh, they're not picky, are they? They're a size like. See what's going on here. <laughs> it's like a buffet, isn't it? Got to leave all the big ones. I loads in there. Look at them all coming. Yes, yeah, someone here with a big ball of fish food. Big ball of munch. Get over here. The size of that one. Can you see these properly or what? They're yeah, massive. My little sharks. <laughs> I won't be going in there, put it out where I get a lot of them, see what they do. Oh, they're long. They're all rolling on top of each other. Yeah, there's hundreds in here. Never seen so many fish. Get here a bit closer. Yeah, stand there. Right down there, eh? Get your nose right in it. What else have we got in here? Some orange stuff. Oh, sticky hands. That could have done with being cut down a bit. Who's going to get that? Nearly as big as my hand? No, it's not. As big as my fingers. That wasn't quite the, the fight I thought it was going to be. Right, let's get in. Riot! <laughs> well, it's crazy, they're all just rolling about on top of each other. Well, there's all the fish food gone. Get in there. <coughs> right, let's see what's going on. Wind you in a bit. There's a little there. Uh, a little thing up there, I can't see what it is. Always climbing. You have already passed through diver, diver, you've already passed through diversity of animals and plants, a diversity of animal plants, should say. Along the nature train, from looking down the forest floor covered with moss, ferns, micro snails to the low canopy covered with elephant yarn, out of breath and bamboo, the upper canopy, who saw giant trees and mixed deciduous forest. Valuable natural resources for Thailand. Now you're at the end of the trail. Eee. You're burned more than 64 calories. <laughs> That'll take some of that uh, ultra processed sausage I had for my breakfast. A little, uh, a little shrine in the cave. This is Colossa Will Wild. Fish cave, most of the subscribe to Secretary of Save on a little bit. I'll put that there for you. You're going to pause it. Never butchers. Feel free. All content in there. It is what it is. Right. Let's make our way out. Look at them all. 
They're getting some sort of lava or something off the side. I've never seen so many fish in a little pond. Fat fish. A lot of people buying these buckets. Got them all there on top of each other. Maybe three or four foot long from them. Sharks, I tell you, sharks. All these little wooden huts. Probably three toilets again. That's Thai house. And that's Thai writing. Fish food. Hello. So what he cap? Oh, I've already given them. They've had the feed. They've had a bucket off me. That's water in the windmill. I'm milling down somewhere. And again inside. All clever stuff. I got a better look at these fish here. I know a few people would like to stick their uh, the line in there. There's not much game in it, like. You're definitely going to catch one. That's the only type of fishing I'll be able to do when I catch something. Right, that's enough of the fish cave. Let's get on to Mei Hong Song. I'm losing my battery and my memory card and my mind. Mei Hong Song, here we come. We made it, guys. Kalala House, we're here. Right, I'll just do this briefly a quick little room tour. Uh, been round about Hong, uh, Mei Hong Song there for about half an hour. Zero directions. Booking.com. Have a word with yourself. Normally all right, but this time, crap. Livid. <laughs> I wasn't happy. Yeah, Kalala House. Looks decent. Room's not much cop like, but sometimes you've got to take these purses on the chin, you know. It's £10 a night. It's about $12. There's a little reception area. It's just somewhere to put me at. Take that into consideration before we go in. <laughs> There's my little, uh, my little slippers. Hope the lights on. My little pink slippers. <laughs> Won't be using them. Kettle, kettle's clean. Already checked out. First thing I did. Tea. Cups I made. That's coffee. I won't be drinking that. Um, I brought my own tea back to sneak out to 7 Eleven. There's a 7 Eleven here! Yeah! I haven't seen the last 7 Eleven for three days, four days. Starving! Never met someone so hungry. Uh, yeah, cups, bed, TV, size of a shoebox, but I'm not asked. I haven't seen the TV in the last few days, I haven't watched one. Fridge, Pepsi, water. Monkey, uh, monkey cupboard, you can see that, the monkeyness. That's got someone's comb in it. Hello. Not happy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's got aircon. Aircon up there. Fan up there. Let's get that fan off. Don't need the aircon and the fan. And uh, a rotten balcony out the back, I'm not even going to open that. 
flies and that. You can see what it is kind of. 10 more tonight, $12. I've had a lot better for the price, but somewhere I put me head for tonight and then uh, we're moving on tomorrow. So let's go. Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have to end the vlog here because I need the SD card and I need battery power and then we'll go on a food market tour tonight. So we'll go and have a look through the night market, May Hon Song night market. So this vlog for you will probably be tomorrow. So please tune in. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you want to follow me on my adventures, at the minute on the May Hong Song loop, and then down back to, up to, to, down to Chiang Mai, and then up to Chiang Rai, and then we're going to be doing a border run somewhere along the line, and then we're going to be skipping countries, and then we're going to be going all over. So yeah, subscribe. Hit the notifications bell and I'll see you soon. Have a nice day.